<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Unpopular Wrestling Opinions, or UWO. It's the show where we scour Twitter for your hot takes, your uh, outlandish opinions. I read them off to a collection of outlandish hosts and panelists and they'll debate amongst themselves whether you have any merit if they agree with your take or if it's hot garbage and you should feel bad uh i am your host representing the smack draw podcast uh kyle tyson and joining me today a special putting you over edition uh feels like i'm running a daycare uh with you four i've got joining me uh but i i don't i'm not running the temperature so i'm good for tonight Yes, please. Everybody had their temperature taken. No one has a fever. No one's feeling sick today. I'm sick of a lot of things, but I don't know about <laughs> temperature-wise. God. I bet I could guess a few of them, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't have to cross the border, so I don't have to quarantine. We're good. That's good. That's good. All right, man. Um, thank you guys for joining me. This is going to be a fun show. It always is fun. Uh, joining me today, first up, the man who claims that I'm the least favorite member of the Smack Drop podcast. He is the host of Putting You Over, the standing streamer. What's going on, streamer? What are you doing? Uh, no, I took a picture of us all. I hope you guys all smiled. I, I put it out. Oh. I'm putting a tweet out. Uh, nothing. There's nothing I would like more then taking a massive deuce all over everybody's stupid wrestling opinions. I'm sure it's about three or four people that tweeted out something uh, that just wanted a response, a like, a retweet, and they probably didn't even believe in it, to tell the truth. But I, they, they tweeted out and be like, oh, I'm going to get some traction on this. <laughs> uh, streamer, yeah. what's your personal unpopular wrestling opinion? My per my my. my personal unpopular wrestling opinion is uh that canada is actually the hotbed of wrestling Love okay it. yeah i agree that's unpopular uh what? vanessa Get out of here. <laughs> next up my second guest she is the lady behind the scenes on putting you over uh she's constantly booking the guests uh lending her takes throughout the show i am of course referring to miss vanessa how are you vanessa I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, you good? Yeah. Are you ready to settle this argument over Canadian bacon that is just ham? No, it's not just ham. It's not. It's okay? not. I have sent you documentation that shows it's not. <laughs> actually, she's she's right. What we call Canadian bacon in the States is not actually Canadian bacon. Thank you. It you is Canadian bacon is pork loin that is like pickled for lack of a better term and then they roll it in cornmeal i'll have to give it a shot uh once again thank you for joining us uh I'm next up like <laughs> Next up, you can catch his segments of Back to the Ring, where he covers old WWF and WCW pay-per-views, and he also covers uh, NXT UK, Mr. Bob Avery. Hey, Bob. Hey. Bob, I got to know, uh, who's your favorite young buck? Bambi. Um, I don't think uh, um, I don't think we have enough time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you mean which one do I hate the least and think has done the most, the least damage for the for the business? I would probably say a uh, balding buck because he <laughs> never really talks, so at least he keeps his mouth shut. Nick Jackson, okay, fantastic. Oh, I thought you were talking about eating bucks. No, like a four a four point buck is like a little so that one's no, good to eat. Mm. No, last up. Uh, frequently uh, featured guest on Putting You Over. He is the host of WWCE Fed, uh, resident comedy wrestling hater. That is D Rod. Of course, you would put me on last, Kyle. I know you've done that <laughs> for a reason. You wanted to get an reaction out of me. Well, you got it. D Rod. It's good, it's good to be back here with you. The last time I was here, I ripped up a paper of AEW. You haven't invited me back since. So it's good to be back on the Smack Raw <laughs> podcast, Unpopular Wrestling Opinions. All right, D Rod, I got to ask you what do you have against comedy wrestling? What do I have against comedy wrestling? 
Are you talking about the one that's on Wednesday nights? <laughs> NXT? No, come on. Hey, oh, now. Oh, yeah, NXT. That's comedy wrestling. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, no, NXT has its fair share of bad Well, it too. has, you know, Leon Ruff, but, you know, we uh, look <laughs> Leon Ruff, the entire Johnny Gargano BS uh, faction where oh. he's got Austin, where they've got Austin Theory acting like a child, like a dumb child. He's acting like a meathead. Uh, just let him be. He just works out all the time. But compare Johnny Gargano to Orange Cassidy Bob, and you should have no problem. <laughs> that's oh. that's setting the bar. That sets the bar. Like both of those bars are below well, sea that's, level. Well, that's what I'm so saying. They would both drown. <laughs> All right, you guys. We're going to get to the show. Um, once again, like I said, uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to read off a series of tweets. I got 15 lined up for us, uh, 15 tweets. We'll read them off, and then you guys will debate amongst yourselves whether this tweet has any merit, you agree with it, or if you think it's trash and we should yeet it off the show. In the event that there's a tie, because we normally do three people, in the event that there's a tie, I will be the tie breaker. Now, I'm going to ask you guys ahead of time. When I read these tweets off, do we want to leave an open floor and you guys just jump in, or do you want me to call out on the first, second, third, and fourth person? Go one by one because we'll all talk over each other if you don't. Good point. Okay, cool. So I point. I know how D Rod got got incorporated into the putting you over crew. Like, like who invited him? Yeah, don't, don't, don't you start this. Don't you start this. I mean, it's a very you know, valid point. Is, go back to how, how many years I've known you. Now you're sitting there saying, bringing this up. Erod is the official <laughs> co-host of Back to the Ring now. So Exactly. Exactly. There we go. I heard, I heard he talked. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's oh, go ahead boy. and let's go ahead and kick this off. Um, Guys, in the chat, by the way, uh, what we like to do here on the show is after every five tweets, I will go ahead and comb through the chat. If you guys want to drop any of your unpopular opinions, we can read it on air and we'll get like a quick reaction. Maybe not quite as in-depth, but we'll go ahead and incorporate you guys into the show as well. So make sure to be active in the chat and give us your unpopular opinions as well. Kicking off the show, tweet number one coming in from uh, Steve Stevel, Stevel Metalhead? Uh, Stevel Metalhead says, the strongest time in a title run is winning it uh, and the celebration immediately following. None of the other moments during a run in today's wrestling is as important or memorable. Stevel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with D-Rod. Well, I see where he's coming from here because if you look back, uh, is he talking about in recent in recent days or yes, just, recent okay, title runs? Recent, recent it's title just run. it's just the winning and the celebration. The actual run itself is meaningless. Well, I don't know if the run is meaningless, but if you look back at Kofi, big win at WrestleMania, and then what is what happens? He gets squashed by Brock. The Believably win. squashed by Brock. Anyway. Yes, yes. And I mean, what a great moment. But then when we get to that point, I mean, I kind of agree with this tweet, to be honest. All right, Bob? Um, uh, You bring up Kofi, but I think Kofi's whole run was really good. I don't think that you can say that uh, when he flipped off Samoa Joe, I popped like a kid yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that was good in too. the ring. So, I mean, I can't say you can't. I think it really depends on the star. I think modern wrestling has a hard time building stars big enough to be worthy of the title. It, it tends to be the title's more important than the person holding it as opposed to the other way around. Um, so I'm going to have to agree with it, with the caveat that because it's modern wrestling, not mm -hmm. because I don't think that's always been the case. Okay, so we're one and one. How about you, the standing one? Um, I don't know how young this child is on this tweet, but I am old enough to remember Daniel Bryan and the Yes Movement, and the Yes Movement alone uh, is what sold all of that. So based on this tweet, it's not just about winning. It's about the buildup. It's about the chase. Everybody knows it's about the chase. It's about the chase. Okay, cool. So we got two against D Rod. You're standing on this island by yourself, Vanessa. No, I agreed with the tweet. I agreed with it. I, oh. I said agree. Oh, you agreed. With the caveat. Yeah. 
I um, agreed with the caveat that modern wrestling can't build great, stars great. big enough to make their title run mean something. Okay, so streamers on the island now. Okay, Vanessa. Hold on, I got I got a sound alert for that. Okay. Go ahead, Vanessa. You're... Okay, well, honestly, I didn't read it and I didn't get to hear it exactly, mm -hmm. so I'm not really too sure what the person's saying. Are they saying that the I'll, build up the rain is bigger than the build up I'm no confused. i'll 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 read it again the strongest time in a title run is the winning moment and the celebration immediately following not the build up not the run just the apex of the title being won oh no that's stupid <laughs> okay no, no it's like the build up all the way to the point and then retaining after no no that's no Sorry. All right, so that's two for it, two against it. Damn, all right, already split down the middle. I'm honestly, I'm not going to lie. When I read this, the first thing I thought of was the chase. I said, no, the chase is just as good um, and as captivating as the celebration and win. So on that basis alone, I am going to say this tweet is trash. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, wrong sound effect. Hey, I take that. Oh, yeah, back. That You don't deserve that one. Yeet! There's the yeet. Okay. Anyways, I already, think you deserve it. Already Steve. watching this yeah. shit. All right, <laughs> Stevel, Stevel Metalhead, your tweet is trash. Okay. Amateur, amateur hour tweets. Yeah, uh, tweet number two, uh, coming in from S Lawson, uh, fourteen seventeen. Uh, he's referring to the Royal Rumble. Edge winning the Royal Rumble is just the same as Brock winning it. They both don't need to win the Rumble or main event mania. Uh, they take part in the same amount of matches per year and loads of other talent more deserving of winning. Um, we're going to go in reverse order. I'll start with you, Vanessa. Well, that's just hot garbage. That's it. Hot Edge garbage. comes back from nine years. And he's going after the title that he had to relinquish, and he never lost. So, no, sorry, no. You can't go after Edge. I'm sorry, he's Canadian, and I, I take a <laughs> personal offense to that. I, I can't. Streamer. Yeah, that's a ridiculous tweet because, I mean, Edge Edge was injured. It, uh, it, there was a reason Edge didn't come back and then showed up at the Rumble. He was injured. He wasn't uh, not you know, didn't want to show up because he's brought. He, it's dumb. It's a stupid tweet. Bob? Kick, uh, kick yeah, him that's, off Twitter. That's complete, that's complete bullshit. Edge is one of the biggest stars in the company. Having him win the Royal Rumble is a huge fucking moment. Uh, it, it, any other guy, if they were big enough to win the Royal Rumble, then they would have put them over. But Edge is the biggest star that they have right now. So... Up next to Roman Reigns, who wasn't even in the Rumble. No. He, the, hot garbage. D-Rod, you going to try and sway anybody into agreeing with the tweet? See, I've had mixed feelings about Edge winning the Royal Rumble, but when I look at it now and look at the star power, Edge is on a totally different level. And, you know, here's the problem with WWE sometimes – are we really building and getting people to where they need to be? Because Edge winning it, like Bob said, he is the main attraction once he entered that Royal Rumble match. Uh -huh. So him winning it made sense. So, you know, this tweet's trash. Throw it out. All right. Eat Unanimously, S. Lawson, uh, fourteen seventeen. your tweet is trash. Eat! All right. Get that shit off my screen. Pretty sure I got the yeet on that one. Okay, if, I, if I'm not, just tell me in the chat if my sound effects are all fucked up. All right, tweet number three coming in from Kyle from New Jersey. I think he's actually in your guys' Discord chat. I see him popping up in my notifications. He's, that loser. Yeah, Kyle from NJ. He says, I feel like Raw and SmackDown need to solidify their managerial personalities as general managers adam pierce on raw sonya deville on smackdown i can see sonya being a badass gm and we'll mix it up and go with bob um i i, I agree that there should be general managers on raw and smackdown uh i would keep 
uh, Sonya and Adam for a while on SmackDown. I, you have tons of other talent on Raw. You could have Samoa Joe be. Uh, you could have Jeff Jarrett come out. He's in the backs there somewhere doing something. You could have Kim come out. He'd be a great general manager. So I don't think that he's right on the people, but I agree that they need to solidify those GM positions. I got you. We are getting a little bit of feedback um, from one of the mics. I'll fix it. It's probably okay. me. Damn, your audio comes through better now, though. Yeah, because I switched something. I'll fix it. Hold on. Okay. While you're fixing that, we'll go you ahead. Want me and over- my, you want me to give my opinion on this first? Sure. Go ahead, man. Uh, what? <laughs> What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> that um that we should have Adam Pierce as GM of Raw, Sonya Deville as GM of SmackDown. Like solid uh, now. I, I yeah, I agree. I think that's where they're going. I think they're not gonna rush Sonya Deville into action and they're easing her in on SmackDown and we've already seen Adam Pierce on Raw. So yeah, I agree with that. Okay. D Rod. Well, here we go again. I think this is an easy tweet to read and respond to. Um, you know, Adam Pierce, he's been doing a great job. And Sonya Deville helping him out on uh, last night, SmackDown, was a good moment, I thought. And keeping them together, like Bob says, the best way to go. And like Bob made a good point on Rob, you've got so many talents. They brought back Shane, and I know some people's opinions on Shane McMahon can go either way. But if I was to choose, I would go with Shane McMahon on Raw, Adam Pierce, and Sonya Deville on SmackDown. Okay, okay. Um, Bob, did you say to go ahead and split them, or did you said keep them on SmackDown? I can't remember. I said keep them on SmackDown for now. You can okay. use somebody else on Raw. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got two against it, streamer for it. Vanessa, you going to try and sway one of them? Not really. I kind of want them both on Raw and SmackDown. Okay. Just have them on both shows. Sick, man. All right. So it's almost unanimous in this one. Uh, Kyle from NJ, your uh, your tweet is trash. <laughs> All right. Get that off of my screen. I do want to say real quick that the more Roman bullies Adam Pierce, the more I actually want to see a match between the two of them. Well, they have to. They're building up to that. Come on. Yeah. It doesn't have to be amazing. It just has to be there. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Tweet number four. Um, at Dakota underscore Kai underscore guy. Dakota Kai guy. Um, we feature them on the show pretty often. Jeff Hardy is stale. There's no real reason to be invested in him. All he really does is lose, and there's no real story to anything. Nothing to be interested about. Even his matches are bland at this point. Ooh, burying Jeff. Burying Jeff, Dakota Guy Guy is. Uh, streamer, I'll let you kick it off. Yes, I agree. Damn, With fairly Jeff, easy. I agree. Vanessa? He's a, he's a veteran, and his, his matches suck. <laughs> I, 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 I love Jeff Hardy, and I love Jeff Hardy from the day he debuted. I know, but it makes me sad every time I see him come out, and he does nothing. It'd be like Bully coming out. Nobody would give a shit. You know, exactly, and it makes me very sad. But, you know, I guess that's what happens when you like to drink and drive. I don't know. Oh, oh snap. Hey, D Rod. Good lord, I don't know if I could follow that up or can not. we salvage Jeff Hardy, D Rod, or is he dead in the water? Well, here's the problem with Jeff. Jeff Hardy Do we know... in the water. What what did you say, K Dog? Nothing. I, I'm watching I'm watching Susan Russell right now. Okay, you know. you're watching that other trash company. Okay. Um Okay. All right. Um let's settle, move on. settle your tea kettle. <laughs> Oh uh, no! But here's the problem with Jeff. It was it's just like when Kurt Angle come back. Um, they're at the age now. I think that Kurt Angle done the right decision. He retired, and I think that maybe Jeff's got a little bit left in him. But I think it's about that time uh, that he hit that retirement button. So I kind of agree with this tweet. Damn. Bob, it's up to you to try and sway somebody if you are a Jeff Hardy I'm not, believer. I'm not swaying anybody. I love Jeff Hardy and have always been a huge fan of his, but it's time for him to hang up the boots. I'm sorry. I don't want to see him in another ladder match where he's going to get hurt. 
I don't want to see him wrestling matches where he can only do five moves because he has absolutely no agility anymore because he's just, he's so beat up and he's done. Um, if he wants to stay in wrestling, he can go to AEW and teleport around with his brother. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, they that, don't teleport fun. anymore, Bob. That just proves the last yeah. time you watched yeah. it. Exactly. But yeah, because I don't watch AEW yeah. because it's crap. But, but he can go yeah. over there and he can teleport we'll and play in the that. sand with all the kids. Uh, we'll edit that as out far as uh, so yeah, I I, th I think his matches are stale. They're they're all the same. The only glimmer of hope I had of him doing anything interesting is maybe <laughs> if him and Elias had teamed up as a tag team instead of still feuding that would have been interesting because then he could be a hot tag or he could get beat up and Elias could come in. It would at least extend his career a little bit longer. But I, I, for the most part, I agree with the tweet. Gotcha. Well, Dakota Kai guy, as painful as this tweet was for everybody to read, uh, they agree with you. We're going to delete oh, it, right? Delete? Yeah. <laughs> you know, no. whatever happened to the Brother Nero stuff after the bar brawl, you know? Tease the brother Nero, and then that was just that was dropped. He had superpowers for like a couple it's a minutes. W, it's the WWE tickling the tits of the internet wrestling community. That's what it is. <laughs> they had him with Matt Riddle for a bit. Like seriously, you could have put him with Matt Riddle for a bit and let Riddle do everything, and then just tag Matt in for the hits and call it a day. Or yeah, Jeff in for the hits and call it a day, not Matt. Got you. All right, tweet number five, and then we'll go ahead and go over to the chat where it's pretty much just Spuddy. Um, <laughs> Dax from FTR at Dax FTR says they wouldn't have been able to keep up with us in 2001, much less 2021. To be honest, my opinion, Edge and Christian were pretty overrated. Oh! FTR burying Edge and Christian. Um, <laughs> Rip that shirt to that bomb. I am going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kick it off with Bob on this one. Uh, I Oh, I, I don't agree with that at all. I don't think any <laughs> Christian are overrated one bit. I think that that's, uh, that's probably them trying to uh, stir a little something up mm -hmm. because they're, you know, stuck on a show where they're kidnapping midgets now. So, I mean, you know, I... <laughs> Like, you know, they've, they've got to do something to try and get themselves over. So maybe getting people mad about Edge and Christian will do it. Uh, but no, Edge and Christian were freaking awesome. And that tweet is complete garbage. Vanessa. And Bob is totally reeking of awesomeness. But um, yeah, no, FTR, like that would be a dream match. Like FTR and Edge and Christian in the ring. But Edge and Christian would wipe the floor with them. All right, D-Rod. Well, you know, if you want Edge and Christian versus FTR, there's only one place that it's going to happen. And I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but it's, if it's ever going to happen, there's only one place that's going to happen. It's going to be WWE, and I'm sorry to burst your bubble. But, you know, Revival, am I saying that they got booked 100% correctly? No, I am not. But are they getting booked any better over there on the comedy show? No, they are not. This, this so, has to do with Edge and Christian. Oh, no, no. Well, exactly. oh, I wasn't exactly. done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys will Ed, take any chance you can to jump on AEW. <laughs> Ed, 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 I mean, as a Christian, at least they know where to go and get a paycheck correctly. Um, yep, back to the old farm, get the old paycheck. Well, oh, you know, I mean, they're... Or not? let me ask you this, standing one. When Edge and Christian entered the Royal Rumble, what they're, you know, two weeks later or, or a week later, let's say a week later, where are we are, let's say, are we talking about FTR or are we talking about Edge and Christian still? I, I'll tell you this, dear. We're talking look, about Edge and Christian. You're going to find. I'm not talking this, about FTR. You're going to find this shocking. Ready? Oh, well, hit me with some news. I don't Ready? know. When Edge and Chris, Christian. Entered Christian, the, Christian. <laughs> entered the WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view with the only pay-per-view going on that weekend. Yes. Oh, that's I've right. got news for you. Are we still oh. going to be talking about Edge and Christian in two weeks or FTR? Can we get back? No. Can we get back? No, we're not. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Gary has something to say about Edge's ratings on NXT. Hold on. Oh. Nobody cares what Gary has to say. Uh, 
edge actually, uh, the ratings actually dropped, and uh, you didn't see an increase or uh, a retaining of edge on NXT. Thank you. Thank you he did man. not move the needle. Didn't well, that's the... because ratings. That's because the ratings you get are are primarily based on the show you put out the week before. Okay, and NXT's so... been putting out pretty much hot garbage, except for the all right, last you guys. Hour. I'm gonna I'm gonna steer us back on course because you've gone way off track. I know. Were oh, Edge and Christian go. overrated? Not no, 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 no they? they are not overrated. No. I'll get back Never. on track. No, they were not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at look. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Yep. Erod and Bob, <laughs> two two people who sh- take a shit all over comedic wrestling. Edge and Christian, <laughs> Christian, are more comedic than anything you're watching right now. Five second pose, fucking the kazoo concert. That's what put them over as a tag team. Yep, but their matches weren't comedic. They took. The mm-hmm. the business their, their seriously. The they took their sports. matches seriously. Anyways, Dax from FTR, your tweet is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, ruffling some feathers over here. I okay, I knew once I... we got to AEW, you guys were gonna have battle lines drawn. I, um, I can't Chris, Christian because my kid uh, sitter before she had to move. Her name was Kristen, so every time I say it. That and I've been drinking since three. You can't say yangling either, so don't 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 put it off on that. Anyways, um, going back to the it's chat. It's a hard been... word, okay? Yingling. 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 <laughs> he can't say it. You asked for this, Cal. You asked for it. Okay, uh, so what we like to do here on the show is after every five tweets, I go into the chat and uh, I go ahead and curate, pull out an unpopular opinion. Spuddy has been taking liberty liberty with this. Uh, Not so much giving unpopular opinions, but just trying to dress us down. So I'm only going to use one of them that even came across as like a legit opinion. And uh, he says, unpopular opinion, but Crash Holly is... A Hall of Famer. I think he means I to thought say. He said Bob Holly. No, Crash. I thought he said Bob Holly. Crash. Um, but he says uh, Crash Holly. I think what he means to say is deserves to be a Hall of Famer uh, because saying he is one is not an opinion. It's a fact. In which case, it's not. He's not one. But I think he just says Crash deserves to go in the Hall of Fame. Well, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I, I agree with Bob and Stan. All what? right. Why doesn't crash this? Okay. <laughs> Spuddy. I'll die uh, on my hill. I'll die on the hill. It's okay. Yeah, That's, your, your opinion's like, trash. Spike uh, Dudley in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh I man. Love you. Okay, you guys. Now you want to talk? You want to talk? Uh, Don Don Callis in the Hall of Fame? That I can go with. All right. Um, what Hall of Fame? You wouldn't be in the WWE Hall of Fame. I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Go back and watch the virus. All right, y'all. Tweet number six yeah, coming in. A lot of good tag teams. <laughs> tweet number six at uh, JNSTL. I don't know if it's an unpopular or if it's unpopular, but I feel like baby faces just go over too often. Uh, not just in WWE. Uh, I miss the days when heels got a lot of constant heat. It made the eventual baby face win even more meaningful. Uh, like, and then he gives an example, when DIY finally beat the Revival for the NXT tag titles. Are baby faces winning too much in modern wrestling? Um, D-Rod. Oh, goodness. I don't know where to go with this. It's going to be tough because he's an NXT fan and they're all gray over there. Yeah. 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 You got, you, you're at. Um. <laughs> um. Hey, AEW is all heels who just feud with each other. So, Bob, I don't even – why do people think I like AEW? I watched NXT – through from the start to the finish, the last two weeks, and have not watched AEW. I wish people would stop saying I enjoy AEW. Uh, Stan, okay, can, 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 can I ask you something or tell you something? No, answer the question. Let's move Let's on stick here. To the tweet. Kiss, the- kiss my grits. That's what I got to say. <laughs> Kiss oh, my oh. grits is what I gotta say. <laughs> answer it, D Rod. Answer it. Parabolic. Uh, company, 
do they enjoy faces or heels? Modern wrestling. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's Modern get wrestling. out of let's get out of which company we're talking about because the tweet specifically <laughs> says not just WWE. So it's a very not broad sure. statement that in today's pro wrestling as a whole, we got too many baby faces winning. Mm. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what he's saying, but I, I don't, I, I don't know where to go. Between baby faces winning all the time is that the tweet, and they win too much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, um, is it right or not? No. Well, he, he, oh, at the God. bottom, it made a good example, standing one DIY. And you know, I, but I, he said that those aren't the buildups. Like those used to be the buildups, and now we don't have those buildups. That yes, was the I agree. Example. We do not have the buildups. There we go. Move That's on. what they're saying. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa, for explaining that. Trash, Bob. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, uh oh, it, it's hard. It's hard. It is hard. Uh, yeah. I don't think baby faces go over too much too quickly i think that they don't know how well okay i guess i'll agree because i don't think that companies know how to build heat anymore and it's kind of hard to build heat when you can hit a guy with a chair 20 times and he's back on the show the next week you can't do an injury angle anymore because everybody does freaking everything you know uh you can't sell a guy having an injury by getting you know had the crap beat out of him because everybody gets the crap beat out of him so it it there's no heat there for the baby faces to overcome because they're not really building any heat. So there you go. That's my answer. Okay. How about you streamer? Well, you know, I don't really know where to go to this. I'm, I'm going to go to uh, Britt Baker on a, a, a little company called all elite wrestling. She took a, she took a shot to the face and she sold it like to the jaw. She sold it for weeks. Like she wasn't on TV for weeks. She sold that injury and uh, worked it into a bunch of different angles with different wrestlers. I don't really know where to go with it, but she is a heel, so I'm going to say this tweet is trash. Okay, got three trash. And what about you, Vanessa? Uh, I have to agree. There's too many baby faces, but I think it's difficult in the culture we live in because everyone wants to cancel everything that it's hard to create a heel. So, yeah, there's too many baby faces. Heel, Vanessa. They're there's heels all over the company. Every every champion is a heel right now. I kind of I I actually kind of agree with the tweet, although we just trashed it. Um, I think we just trashed it. Uh, yeah, mid card mid card baby faces win. Yeah, the yeah, exactly. two things that come to mind for me personally was oh, wait, Drew okay. McIntyre winning the title. It wasn't really a chase. He just he he booted he booted Brock. At Royal Rumble, and then a month later, he had the belt. And then, um, to Bob's point, to compound onto that, yeah, the injury angle. Look at what they did to Sasha Banks. Um, and then she was on TV the following week after the, like they crushed her ankle and neck or yeah. whatever with the chair. Mm -hmm. And then they He's put her right back on TV. Later. So yeah. What about what about Britt Baker? Britt, Britt Baker had an actual injury. Britt Not to her face though. Yeah, like she had the legit injury, but it's funny because it's the opposite. She was a heel and played up as a heel that was injured, which is actually very fascinating. I can't believe AW did that. I mean, Cowboy Bob Orton wore a, a cast on his arm for like three years because of a injured forearm. So, <laughs> shit. So, how many people agreed with the tweet? I forgot. Were, were we agreeing that there was too many baby faces? No, we agreed that um, the baby faces I, win too much. I'm not agreeing. Oh. No, well, no, 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 no. Um, Ridiculous. Yeah, they do win too much. 1-1, one, one, D-Rod. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this tweet is all over the place. It is really, um, isn't it, man? It's it, such a I broad know, stroke. I, I, he's, he's wide. Um, <laughs> I guess I disagree disagree okay two against one for it bob um i'm gonna uh i'm gonna agree but they don't know how to get real heat or build real heels so it doesn't it's kind of a moot point the baby faces are going to win because the heels are ineffective and most of the time the heels are dumb so i got you 
So that's a tie. It comes down to me. I am going to say I agree with the tweet. We'll put it through. Why not? J-N-S-T-L. Uh, you got a good point. Oh, right. yeah. So we'll get that tweet off my screen. Uh, tweet number seven. Uh, oh, a little bit more direct to the point. Not as broad. Uh, referees need to be featured more prominently during the matches by being more enforcers of the rules. Are we not seeing enough refs taking control of matches? Who tweeted this? This was, oh, thank you for asking. Um, kind of blue, but they spelt it in elite, like K1ND0FBLUE, kind of blue. And the tweet was what? Uh, Vanessa, sorry. I'm used to like just like saying it and everyone just starts shouting at each other. Vanessa. Okay, so referees need to be more prominent and, and more enforcers. enforcers of the rules. Um, yes and no. So I think that they need to enforce the rules, but I think that the rules that are in place need to be stated better. So I think like everyone has an opinion of what a match should be personally, but that's not the rules of the match. So I don't know. I don't want to see the ref though, like take over a match either. So you're against it. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to see the ref take it over. Streamer. Um, okay. So the tweet is the referees need to more be more uh, firm. And, yeah, uh, stronger enforcers. Stronger enforcers. No, that's showing up the talent. So no, I disagree. Got you. D-Rod? Road shows want me to go off on this tweet, and I'm going to give him what he wants because – No, he, no, every he, – he, every, he's, every... he's right. He's right. Road show is right in the chat. He is on point that referees need to take it seriously. They need to be enforcers – it is a part of their what they're supposed to be doing. That's a part of their outline. That's what they're supposed to be doing. So, yes, they should be more strict. Two against one for Bob. Coming down to you, my friend. Oh, I agree completely. I couldn't agree with this tweet more if I'd written it myself. Uh, number one, there's rules in professional wrestling. You need to follow the rules. Mm. Every time you don't follow the rules and the referee sees it and doesn't do anything, he gets buried as a uh, authority figure within the match. Number two, you go to the outside and start swinging around ta tables and chairs at people. You should get disqualified because that's disqualification. Not every match is a no DQ match. There's a referee in NXT UK that is very strict about the rules. He doesn't take over the match. He doesn't make himself a part of the match, but he is if somebody's on the ropes. One, two, three, four, get off the ropes. If people are outside, he's yelling at them to get back inside. It makes it a believable competition between two people and doesn't look like two goofs jerking each other off in the middle of the ring. That's all as I got to say. As much as I would like to see two goofs jerking themselves <laughs> off in the ring, I, I would like to go back to, to D-Rod because Bob makes a lot of sense with everything you said. Uh, but I, I do want to go back to D-Rod in NXT and the Dusty Classic, uh, specifically the MSK tag match of this last week. How many illegal tags? Gosh, here we go, that? MSK. Of course, he brings up MSK out of everybody else. How many? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll bring up, Give me I'll, another example. Can we get another I'll, example? Yeah, I'll bring up their opponents, the Lucha Doors. Uh, yeah, whoever they wrestled. El Fantasma or whatever they're called. Very much. How many legal tags were in that match to, to send you to the, to the final? Too yeah. many. How yeah, many? I mean, you Too know, many. Did I say? Did I, did I say? Next, next tweet. Next tweet. Thank you. Yeah. Next well, tweet. well, hold on. We have, we have two for it. We have two against it. It's coming down to me again. Um, I will say this. <laughs> My view on refs is not... <laughs> that they should be letting it go or they should be overly strict. I think a lot of refs deserve their own character. You have Earl Hebner, a strong enforcer of the rules, but you also had little Nate that could help back up heels back in the day. 
you know so i don't think it's necessarily that refs need to be stronger enforcers i actually feel like referees kind of deserve just a little a little tweak of their own character but still not obviously overshadow the wrestlers so i think personally the tweet's trash yeah. you're right good point good point Tom. good point Thank little you. nick patrick everybody can use little nick patrick yeah, Nick Pat. No, just as you said that, man. That, right, it's funny. See, that's why I mean it's funny. You know, I'm actually funny. To tell you the truth. What do you say? <laughs> Tommy Young was the best. Was the best referee ever. Tommy Young no. was the head referee for the uh, WCW NWA in the in the eighties, and he was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I Great enjoyed, referee. I enjoyed Tim White. Tim White. Damn, I haven't thought about him in a long time. See, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing. Like. The refs don't get names. Well, I guess they do now, but they didn't. There was a time period where your ref didn't get a name. Now we're trying to do, I guess, but but yeah. What's really funny is when you go back and you see, um, oh geez, um, never mind, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain fart. I was like, oh, I'm going to say something, and then a complete brain fart. It's okay. Uh, we'll move on to tweet number booth. eight. We're halfway yeah. through. He halfway did, through the tweets. Thanks for hey, noticing. I'm going to edit that out in post, in Roadshow. Relax. we will be fine. Yeah, you you did. Got, you did, Stan. Got, just so you know. I got somebody, <laughs> I got somebody that works on all my editing. They'll take care of it. All right. Um, here we go. <laughs> this one only snuck in because I didn't realize till the end that I had two tweets that were kind of the same. So I had to throw this one in there in one of their places. Um, unpopular oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> From Ibushi Sin, unpopular opinion. Wrestling, uh, women's wrestling killed wrestling. Women are too aggressive in the ring. Belair and Sasha is not WrestleMania match, period. Oh, me. Oh, Good God. Lord. Um, Vanessa, you seem to feel strongly <laughs> about this. <laughs> like, I, I don't even have words right now. I am so raged. <laughs> like, the women are, like, the main events now. Like, their matches are better than the men's half the time. But do you so, think they're going too hard? People don't like to see women go that hard. They're dainty. They're supposed to be delicate. women watch Ronda Rousey in a main event of UFC. Don't I even love- get me started. <laughs> Come on, I love- Vanessa. Still. I think the women. I think the women wrestlers are too hesitant a lot of the times. To yes. be honest with you, I think there's a lot of times where they stutter step and they hold back punches that they could. They should lay in a little bit more. They fucking like set up for moves before they are the moves ready. Like the they're, the timing's off. But I definitely don't think they're too aggressive. I don't think they're aggressive enough. I don't. Yeah, I agree. I think that they need to lay their shit in more. Like let's see some black eyes or something on accident. This is a ban. This is a bandable. Trash. I wish they. I wish they'd let the the women. I wish they'd let the women juice and get a little blood. And, like, <laughs> make it. No, I'm serious. Like, I know. It an yeah. Actual contest. Like let's you know make it look real. If you're gonna fight, fight. Stop. And let's like start this, by putting their bullshit. freaking hair up, okay? So it's not. I actually agree with you on that one, Vanessa. Time. I've thought about mm. that a lot too. Oh my god! I actually, present like, them I go as off on that so many times. Call that sports. Know. Yeah, um, buddy, you're I, a moron. You're a I moron, think, Spud. I think heel, heel women should have their hair up. I think face. If you're a woman in your face, having your hair in your face and you <laughs> spit it out of your face when you're in a hold, I I think that does a lot to your character. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh man, uh, Ibushi's in. I knew this was gonna be trash. You can see the ratio at the bottom. Um, this this tweet got trashed so hard when it came out. Uh, yeah. Uh, Stupid. It, it's some moronic person <laughs> tweeting just to get interaction. It's dumb. No, I, listen. You're gonna make the show. You should be ashamed of yourself, girl. I knew what I was doing when I put it on here. Okay, it was just I had to. The other ones are bland. I had to do something. All right, look, man. The other ones are bland. Ugh, like I'm done. Let's move on. Let's like, I have on. like a terrible taste in my mouth right now. Like <laughs> bad. Tweet number <laughs> tweet number nine. Um, from Too Sweet Pod, they should have let Nikki uh, keep Sanity's theme. Nikki Cross should have kept Sanity's theme. 
No. And uh, okay, streamer already said no. D Rod. What for? Is 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 it okay? Uh, make it her own theme? Is that okay? In the same sense that Roman Reigns got to keep the shield. Okay, I got you. I got yeah. you. Nobody, um, nobody liked, and they ended up changing anyway. So, or they will. I mean, I don't. You know, when people move on from factions, I think personally that they should change the music. I know Roman Reigns; he still got his, but personally, I think they should change the music. Yeah, but he's, he's changing it. He, they're in the process of changing it. I get tired of them changing music all the time when people turn babyface to to uh, to heal. But as far as Nikki and the sanity theme, mm. I don't care. I really yeah. could care less <laughs> what her music is. Um, I don't like her new music because it's freaking terrible. Like, it, my nephew could write something. Well, my nephew's a really good musician, but I could write a better theme song than than that. But uh, so yeah. I, Whatever that cheats that that's trash. Okay, damn. So three three to nothing so far. Hey, you picked out some really shitty tweets. Kyle. Vanessa, listen, it was you a slow. It was a slow two different. weeks. Okay, it was a slow two weeks. Vanessa. Yeah, no. She wasn't even like I don't even consider a big staple in in like sanity. So yeah, no, like she. Sorry. No. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what her new music is either, but. It's 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 a good entrance theme, just not for Nikki Cross. Like I think it would fit someone else a lot better than Nikki. Um, sorry, too sweet pod, but it does seem like you have a habit now of being featured on the show and then getting yeeted the fuck off. All right. Um, damn, you guys, I kind of agreed with it. I like Nikki with that theme, man, because um, she's like a loose cannon. Uh, tweet yeah, number ten. They didn't do that with her character. She spent so much time with Alexa. Like, yeah. Like, gone. Mm. We Character's could we gone. could do we could put thirty on that. Um, Captain Crunch says, "I truly think Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles are neck and neck for the greatest of this generation." Um, then they go on to kind of like back their styles. They compare them to Brett and Sean. Um, are Daniel Bryan and AJ the Brett and Sean of this generation? Oh, sorry, mm. Vanessa. You guys are so well organized. Everybody just starts yelling at me when I do that. Um, a professional see, show. This isn't your game. <laughs> yeah, we are very professional here. Um, heel of Daniel Bryan because I missed that whole WrestleMania Daniel Bryan thing. So Styles, I'll agree with Daniel Bryan. I'm sure. I don't know. He's good, but I don't think he's great and amazing i don't know so i'm half and half can't sit on the fence they are or they are not <sighs> okay because i'm gonna give it to styles they are sweet d-rod see this is the problem with the tweet when you put oh, brett's okay. name and sean's name in there that's when i have a problem with it um oh, now am i taking away from daniel bryan and aj styles no they are amazing. They're on a different level than everybody else, but I'm not going to sit on the fence, so I'm going to go with trashing it. One and one. Bob. No, I, dis I disagree um, with, the, with the tweet. Uh, one, uh, Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart both had longer careers on top of the industry. And by that, I mean on top of the top shows, not being the top person in TNA and not being a upper mid card person, which Daniel Bryan was until the yes movement hit. Uh, number two, they sold the business was bigger at the time. They sold more money, put more asses in seats than Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles ever have or ever will. So you can't the, say that because the Tokyo Dome is just as big as half the shows that WWE is doing. Dome. We're talking about American wrestling, not New no, Japan. No, 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 you, no, you, you can't do that. Off. Wrestling is Stop. wrestling. You said put butt in seat. That's what you, you said. Those were your words. So by my calculations, you could put butts in seats in the Tokyo Dome, which was done by AJ. Yeah, but those butts would have been in those seats anyway because New Japan no, wrestling is huge. You can't, do that. You can't say that. 
You look can't at his say own top that. <laughs> you don't know. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny Twinkle Toes McFinger Bang was on top of New Japan Wrestling. Oh, You're going to tell on. me he's the one who put that <laughs> off topic. seats? That's off topic. So was it Brock Lesnar. <laughs> That's off topic. So was it Nakamura. So was it Finn Balor. Stay on topic. You're talking about putting butts in seats. A- Gallows and Anderson, Kyle. like you can keep going. I'm about to leave, Kyle. I don't need I don't need him yelling at me like this. It, it's so, it's kind of the theme of the show, me, Bob. You're, you're, more, you're more than welcome to go, Bob. No, Bye. no, no, no. Okay, okay. Oh, look, look. Uh-huh. Is the show's meant to be heated? It's not meant to legitimately hurt feelings. Um, so I have one for it, two against it. Um, streamer, I'm assuming you're for the tweet. It doesn't matter what I'm for. What he said was putting butts in seats and then disregarded something done at another company. That that's what bothers me. You you can't pick and choose what you whatever. Okay. No whatever. no no no. Yeah. Hold on. We we do have to keep on the time anyways. I hear what you're saying. Um, are they this generation's Brett and Sean? Whatever. Yeah. Sure. All right. In in that case, it comes down to me. God damn it. This is one I did not want to come down to me. Um, I'm going to go with my gut and say yes, only because they are generational talents like Brett and Sean were. I think they are definitely generational talents. Disregard what promotions they were in. Uh, and that's where I'll go. I'm going to push it through. Damn, you guys, man. That oh, one. Yeah. I thought the AEW stuff was gonna get you, Cap and Crunch. Wow, man! Holy it, it, moly! It's, it's when it's when you contradict yourself is is what gets. Me. I didn't contradict myself. I'm talking you about did. putting asses in seats. Hold on a second. He did this that. New Japan he tour. Did that. Did they do. Shut the fuck up and listen to me. This New Japan tour. Do they do house shows? Do they, they do they do shows do. seven days do. a week at all of these different places? No, Sean and Brett did. And they sold those places out everywhere they went. Not only that, but they had a huge rivalry that is a long part of why they're so great. AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan have no rivalry. All you right. didn't bring up rivalry earlier. Okay. You brought up seats. And selling out Poughkeepsie is much different than selling out the Tokyo Dome. Once a year. Once a year. Anyways, yeah, I'm but gonna... they tour in Japan too. Like they have their own tours as well he that they sell out care. shows. He said it. I don't care about Japan. That's what I don't care about, about Japan. Then, it, then you're disregarded, Bob. Everything you say is disregarded. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's. No, Kyle, you better get a hold of this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys, listen, <laughs> man. The tweet, the tweet is behind us. This is normally the part of the show where I refer to the chat uh, for their unpopular opinions, but they are way too into this argument. They're uh, loving it. Yeah, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> um, My ratings are going yeah. up. But yeah. but I appreciate I appreciate the passion. That's why I make this show. Okay, whether that passion is always having fun or sometimes hey, how we many really more get do we heated. Have left because the dreamer match is on. Exactly. We have five left. We're two thirds the way through. Okay. Okay, quick, let's go. Rapid fire. Okay. Thank you, Vanessa. Speed uh, round. <laughs> Taking too long. Speed, Speed round. round. Speed round. <laughs> okay. Tweet number eleven, uh, coming from it's uh, Manieb. It's a simple one, man. Uh, King Kong's greater than Godzilla. No, 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 no. Trash the tweet. Get it out of here. If you think King Kong is better than Godzilla, you need to get some brain cells because they ain't up there. Yeah, I'm going to agree. That, that's bullshit. <laughs> I Godzilla's love King Kong. Better. I love King Kong, but there's no way Godzilla's better. I'm going to leave it down to Vanessa and Streamer. Um, don't, call, don't call on me. This is not a wrestling opinion. A ridiculous oh, now he's going to cry in his cornflakes. Vanessa, King Kong, and Godzilla. Um, unpopular wrestling opinions, not unpopular. Let's get D Rod wrong opinions. I don't. I don't know. King Kong is pretty badass. Fake. I don't know what. Like, there's the story of Godzilla changes all the time. I'm, no, King Kong is better than Godzilla because oh, his story never Lord. changes. There's, his story there's... never changes. There's been more. There's been more Kong wrestlers 
uh, Awesome Kong. <laughs> awesome. King Kong Bundy. I'm going to go with Kong. Yeah, of course you would. Of course you would. <laughs> okay. Interesting fact, the, uh, the, the sound at the very beginning of Samoa Joe's uh, entrance music in WWE is actually a very slowed down uh, Godzilla screech. No shit. <laughs> uh, gonna, you guys just went two for Kong, two for Godzilla. I thought this was going to be one that brought everyone back together. Apparently, I was wrong. I'm on Team Zilla. Sorry, this there tweet you is go, trash. Pal. We can finally agree on something. <laughs> we finally agree on something. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Rod, can we get the little gif of uh, of, of Jerry and uh, Yes, uh, let's do it. I don't know which side we're on, but we can do it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, number twelve. Uh, from a Caliph Sammy, a regular on the show. One of my main flaws about Dynamite is that Sting is featured every week. It's diminishing his value. Should Sting a legend, regardless if it's Dynamite, any wrestling show, should this man at this point in his career be a weekly segment? Oh, D-Rod, I'll go with you. Lord have mercy. Here we go again. Steve. Just answer the question. We don't need to go on what show's better. Just answer the question. No, I'm not going on that. Nope, 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 nope. Sting, great talent. Always been a great talent. Seven hours of WWE versus two hours of AEW. Go ahead. Go ahead, you right. Streamer you're just right. stops. Let's just go. Rapid fire. <laughs> we got time okay. to dream roll. I understand we gotta go. you want to get to the match, but you can watch the match. You have it recorded, right? I don't have a DVR. What do you, what, do you think I'm made of money? Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> he, he, he need if they're going to put him in a storyline. Yes, he needs to be on there every week. But if he isn't, then no. So they don't got me off on this. What what was? <laughs> Should Sting be on TV every week? No storyline. Agree. Yes. Okay. Yes, Bob. Um. Yeah, you're paying him, and you're paying him a ton of money. You better use yeah. him for something. Otherwise, he's just sitting in the back collecting a fat paycheck. I got so, it. Ain't that the truth? You got it. You got it. If you're going to use him, I don't know what you're going to use him for. Why you would pay him that much money? Because he can't do anything. He can't wrestle. He can barely do it. He's ne never been a great promo guy. So far, all he does is come down to the ring, stand around with the baseball bat, and look at people. So if you want him to do that every week, then you know you're paying him. But this is, you know, they got plenty of money apparently. So they got that con money. Um, yeah. Okay, use him. Use him. Oh, that Jags money. <laughs> Streamer. What? what do you want? What do you do want we need Sting on television every week? Hey, sure. Why not? I'm scared, man. I got Vanessa's making me move quickly here. She said rapid fire. We got three yeah, for it, Vanessa. We got, we got fucking Tommy Dreamer's 50th birthday. He's he's wrestling for the championship on an unknown company that nobody knows about. We don't got time for fucking Sting. Yeah, Let's Sting go. should be on every Let's week. Go. He's a legend. He's an icon. He's giving the rub to people. Let's let's yes, he should be on every week. You know what's weird? Tommy Dreamer is not wearing the yellow polka dots tonight. <gasps> oh, very odd. Uh, How Sammy. dare you point that out? And now I noticed it. <laughs> Once again, you got yeeted off the show. <laughs> All right. Last three How tweets, you guys. So rounding right the home stretch. I hope okay. He I hope he has a tweet. Oh, <laughs> tweet number 13. <laughs> Uh, coming in from at Scott WWE F1. Uh, since WrestleMania is on two nights, we should have both the Rumble winners main event. Uh, Vanessa. Oh, that's a great fucking question. Yeah. Um. I yes, I agree with that. Honestly, that makes the Rumble have more meaning. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Streamer. That's great. That's a great. I didn't even think of that. That's great. Having your, your main event pay-per-view of the year on two nights, like a Wrestle Kingdom from New Japan. Yeah, I would have both people main event. Yeah. Keep, being, keep keep throwing out the snarky little shit, streamer. I didn't. Bob, what do you think? <laughs> what do I? I think it's a great idea. I'd love to see Sasha versus Bianca one night and then Edge versus whoever Edge is taking on the next night. I think that's great. I mean, once they go back to live, you're not going to be able to have, you know. I, I mm. Once you go back to a full stadium – not like this. I don't think you're going to be able to do WrestleMania over two nights because it's it, 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 the logistics of it would be ridiculous. They've already uh, just to getting people in and out of the company. I mean, hell, the last time when they had the Super Bowl in Atlanta, they couldn't get people in and out of the stadium for one night. So, who knows? But 
yeah, I, I think as far as long as they're doing it now, yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. E easy tweet, easy tweet. I agree. Nice. Yeah, I figured this would be an easier one. Um, Scott WWEF one. Uh, they like you tweet, man. Oh okay. yeah. All right. Now here's the hard hitting question, really quick, and just gut reaction. You guys just shout it out. Who's main eventing night two? Edge. Night two. Edge. Yeah, that's easy. Edge. <laughs> Say that again. Who main events night two? Edge or Bianca? Who has the tweet? No, he's just asking in general. Just, just a general question. You mean who? If you have the pencil, is Edge or Bianca main event night two? Do I have two? to choose Edge or Bianca? Because I would have Roman main event night two. Exactly. Well, maybe it's Edge versus Roman. Who knows? Yes, exactly. I I mean, spear I versus spear. But all right. We'll, we'll leave that one alone. Last two tweets. Okay. Uh, from Jim Valley. Um, if you don't like AEW, that's up to you. But you have to give them credit because they're letting talent be themselves. If Ray Phoenix was on WWE, he'd be on 205 Live or Main Event or the fourth <laughs> member of Lucha House Party. Are AEW treating their talent well, I think, is the tweet. Yes. But I don't think WWE's treating their talent less either but like i think AEW is giving another outlet where people can be more creative oh my I know god it's gonna be hard for bob or d-rod they don't watch the product i'm not i mean it's not a jab you know, it's not no, a jab I, I understand no i totally agree that's what i was gonna Wait, say let me, let i me don't say watch exactly it so i mean <laughs> Kyle. Kyle, hold on let me say exactly what you said and see if it's a jab ready yeah uh no offense to kyle and, and bob they don't watch the product no, I don't Kramer, watch the don't, product. Don't, don't play dumb. Don't play dumb with me. Like you don't know what you're doing. All right. Don't 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 do that. All right. By the way, Tommy Tommy Dreamer just hurt his hand. I yeah. know. I saw that. That's the official sensation. Tommy needs to know. But I wouldn't put I wouldn't put Ray Phoenix on television. Period. Because he can only do a Ray Phoenix style match. He can't wrestle any other type of match. So uh, I wouldn't put him on television at all. Uh, as far as AEW, I really I don't watch the product, so I don't have an opinion other than I don't care for the product. That's why I don't watch it. Okay, um, I'm going to say that is for the tweet. <laughs> D Rod, uh, di disagree. Disagree. Mm -hmm. I got you. And then streamer is AEW letting wrestlers uh, be wrestlers? Yes. AEW is definitely doing that. They're indie rific. They're putting comedy wrestling on. They're they're letting people do things that they can't do anywhere else. So yeah. All right. So we agree. AEW is so letting guys stop worrying about if you can. You didn't worry about if you should. Yeah, they're letting them wrestle their own style. Um, so Jim Valley, they agree with your tweet. Oh. Yeah. And then final tweet of the night, and you guys can go back and watch Tommy Dreamer. Okay. <laughs> back, I'm watching it now. You want to hear it? I'll play it. All. Or he's just playing the hand that's dealt with him, right? I mean, no, I don't like anything about Tommy Dreamer. This is fantastic. Oh, his finger looks broke. Come to my show to watch a no, show. He, you asked you ask for this, gal. You I know. <laughs> tweet number 15 of the evening. Uh, final tweet of the night, you guys. Uh, and here it is, a very basic one. Becky Lynch should not have won the Royal Rumble that she won. There's no reason she should have came out after number 30. Uh, do y'all agree? Should Becky Lynch have come out to replace a hurt, was it Lana? But she wasn't mm. number 30, was she? She came out and replaced an injured Lana who was number 30. Was Lana, Lana was limping 30? to the ring and Becky it Lynch was, said, no, yeah. put me in there. It was Lana. Find out. <laughs> I refuse to answer questions like my name. Uh, Bob. Oh, um, no, she she totally should have won that rumble. She should have been in it. Like she's the man. She was she's the hot. She was the hottest, biggest star in the company, male or female, at the time. I'm sorry, like if that rubs anybody the wrong way or they don't like it, but that's the honest to god truth. So she should have won that rumble and gone on and made event at WrestleMania because that was her proper spot on the card. Mm -hmm. I got you. D-Rod, should she have come uh, out and replaced Lana? Should they have admitted her into the match? Yes, because like Bob put it perfectly in words. Becky Lynch was at that spot 
you heard the crowd reaction. You can listen to the crowd reaction, and that'll tell you your answer. So, yeah, yes, she should have. <clears throat> Fantastic. And Vanessa? Yeah, um, yeah, I don't really know why she wasn't in the Rumble, because people who have matches are in the Rumble anyways. So, I don't really understand why she wasn't in it to begin with. And it just went with the story that they were building, which proves that the buildup is better than winning the match. So we've come full circle. <laughs> I can't top that. That was fantastic. Nice that was a good callback. I like that. All right, streamer, you for Becky or against her? She, she should have gone last. Uh, yeah, she should have been in the Rumble. It fits perfectly with her Stone Cold character paying homage to Stone Cold and uh, you know she's coming in doing what she wants yeah so. and and it was a producer that let her it wasn't like she just interjected mm. she was, she let it Finley Finley's the one who gave her the okay yeah she didn't take somebody out like Naya did and then enter herself into a men's match like yeah dear uh, lord save us all so at Kira uh, underscore oh. Johnson 97 uh, oh. Your tweet is trash. Hi, my and kiss my grits. Oh my god! Now listen, listen. It's been a night. Let's just say that it's, it's been, been a night. All right, a night, you guys. You I want right to thank you all. You got it. The putting you over family for joining me on my show, on the putting you over show. This is just a weird dynamic. Um, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys. Go ahead, plug whatever you want to plug. I know D Rod, you've got something going on after the show. I'll be live here in about twenty minutes. Fantastic. Where can they find you, D Rod? Twitch.tv slash D Rod twenty two twenty two. And Bob, uh, what do you got going on? Oh, uh, back to the ring is supposed to be on Monday at nine. If Stanley Streamer will still let me uh, uh, stream on his channel, he might uh, he might have some hard feelings after tonight and be like, "Fuck you, Bob. Screw you. Fuck this your horse." Blood feud. Uh, in, in which case, if he does, then you know I'll go live on Instagram. I guess. Uh, there there's always room on the Smack Drop Pod. Just a heads but up. Yeah, um, Mondays Mondays at nine. This week we're doing D Rod and I are doing uh, NXT UK and WCW from August. 23rd and 30th so uh we'll see what that uh has for us and yeah that should be it fantastic uh streamer the man makes all this happen what do you got going on vanessa uh, when you left vanessa out i was gonna let her go last oh i wanted to go last (laughs) we we have the same stuff to plug like It's true. Vanessa, what's going on? You're the one who books the show. How about that? Vanessa, what do we got coming up on, on putting you over? Uh, Tuesday, we have Lainey Luck. Thursday, we have Ariella Nix. And we have a guest on Saturday, but it's a surprise. Well, yeah, well, now it's on Tuesday. Or so. Oh, shoot, man. I can't wait. I love surprises, man. Um, And I, I just want to plug New Japan Pro Wrestling, New Japan World. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can find it. You can see it on Roku. It's on Roku now. You can find it. You can find it wherever you want. Okay. <laughs> with these, with these Japan subscription, the only reason I canceled it is because I couldn't afford all of my subscriptions every year. <laughs> I actually love New Japan. I'm just yeah. Okay. Well, all right. I used to love New Japan. I, sometimes their matches get a little too choreography for me. But. With um. With what today's, wrong? before I kick it to the Wait, outro, I want to give one chance. Flip here, I don't think Rich can get Tommy over. Like, we should not be going off the air. Tommy Jim is going to win this title. Road trip oh. sets up in the chat. I am, oh. listen, I got I to gotta do the outro. So what I want to do is today, oh, yeah. like, today we got heated. Up. Things got yeah. elevated between Mr. Bob and Mr. Streamer. I want to give you guys a final chance oh. to bury the hatchet. Are you guys still friends? No. No, I'm not Bob's friend at all. No, no, we're we're acquaintances of business partners. That's it. Thank you guys for joining us. Y'all have a great night. (laughs) (laughs) We'll see you, Rojo.